Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for December 9th, 10th, and 11th, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Now, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, this might start looking familiar to you more and more. And if you're the Southern Hemisphere, we're about to enter into summer for you. So I hope you're enjoying all the greenery. Anyway... When we're doing our readings for the weekend, what I'm doing is I am using my Radley Valentine decks. I am using my Angel Tarot cards and from Radley Valentine, and I'm using my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle decks. Now, I'm also using my Angel and Abundance decks with, from Doreen and Grant Virtue, and we will pick one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now... For this, this is the introduction, and if you're new to the channel or if you cross-watch and you've just kind of forgotten a little bit, go down to the um, down into the description. There will be a timestamp, and you'll be able to just jump past the introduction. I hope you watch it at least one time. Now, during this, and I am doing it a little bit differently, I'm making me smaller and the cards larger, so we will see how this works out. I've, I did this once a long time ago, and people basically said they liked it the other way, but we will see. I'm getting a little older than I was, so maybe this will uh, kind of make it look a little bit better for me. Okay, anyway, anyway, for the introduction, we're going to be using our Weight Rider Traditional Tarot, and I will pull one from my Colette Baron Reed, the Good Tarot, okay? So now, let's see what we've got here. Oh. Um, what's going on? Pretty much all the planets are where they've been. We That full moon has actually been very, very um, strong. I've been feeling it today is the 6th, and it's going to be there December 7th, later at night, Eastern time. I've been feeling the effects of it. I hope maybe you have too. I have found it to be very clarifying, and actually, because you know, I told you that it had been, somebody had said, or I had heard people uh, remarked that it would be an angry moon, but I don't necessarily think it's going to be an out of control moon. I think it's going to be a very focused moon. Okay, so that's going to be the late on the seventh, but again, three days before, three days after, and this is the time to release, relinquish, and request. So let's see. Let's shuffle. Oh, we also have on the ninth, Venus will be transitioning into Capricorn. So this is where things get real. Capricorn is very logical in many ways, very sensitive to, you know, people don't understand, but Capricorns are very sensitive. Um, they're very, um, I like Capricorn energy quite a bit. I have Capricorns in my life. So um, it is, it's an earth energy. So it is about your money, job, career, uh, your home also. So, but, and Venus is going to be about your relationship. So we will see what we will see. Okay, let's go on, and now we're going to cut the deck. Okay, cut the deck, and see. One, two, three. Oh, remember, um, this is a general read. Oh, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resident, resonate. Take what you like leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to God, Holy Spirit, higher power, source, and whatever comes out, comes out, and it's best when I try not to really even understand what I'm talking about. So let's see what we've got here. First card, glasses on. First card is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight. Knights are, again, you know, and if you've been following me, you know this. And I do, I try to teach you a little bit as I go along because then you can pick up a deck of tarot cards and you're able to get a very good sense and a very good feeling with them. And then, of course, this is where you also use your um, intuition. But the knight, knights have this, um, you know, dual energies. All the court cards do. The knight's energy, underlying energy, is fire. That's our Aries, Leo, and our Sagittarius. And we are in Sagittarius energy right now. Um, Jupiter is right now in Pisces, but it will be transitioning pretty shortly to also Aries. So we are picking up some more of that fire energy. Now, sword energy in itself is the um, air energy. It is our Aquarius. It is our 
Gemini, it is our Libra. Now, Aquarius and Libra, I'm sorry, Aquarius and Gemini, really strong right now, too. The full moon, Mars retro. So there's some sort of like little bit of, you know, Mars going retro sometimes creates a little bit of, um, I don't know, digging up um, some of those thoughts, making you revisit some of your intellect, things that you know. And again, um, you know, kind of making you just kind of, making it a little bit more uncomfortable, so uncomfortable truths maybe. And we also have that, um, you know, Saturn in Aquarius. Again, un uncomfortable truths. I'm getting really uncomfortable truths quite a bit. Um, the Knight of Swords rushes in. Now, Swords again, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra, thinking things through, thought processes, like I said, um, making plans. So between this and that fire, remember, fire and air can be very big, very combustible energies. So this one just rushes in. It's really wise to really try to hold back a little bit to think things through. The, so the Knight of Swords is rushing in, thinks that he's got all the answers, very masculine energy, thinks he's got all the answers, thinks he knows what needs to be done. And that fire energy is part of that. Let's just go and do this. The Knight of Swords is saying very quick happenings also. Whatever this is, it's like it's very fast. You might have to make a very fast decision. Now, again, this is more of a universal energy, okay? Next card is the Page of Pentacles. So the Page's underlying energy is Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo, money, job, career. Capricorn and Taurus has some um, longer acting um, planets in it. Now, we have Pluto in uh, Capricorn, and Pluto will be transitioning out some, you know, trans transitioning out of Capricorn to Aquarius and then back in in 2023, and then it will be moving completely. Now, we have Uranus in Taurus, and Uranus is the planet of um, expect the unexpected. Um, all of this, you know, these are earth energy, so money, job, career type of energies with this. And the thing about the um, about Uranus, I was thinking that it was 2024. It actually starts going in and out in 2025. I think it goes in and out of Gemini. And then in 2026, it's totally in Gemini. So this is about your money, your job, your career. So Paige's energy, well, while the night is focused, you know, once you create, once you tell what it needs to be, you know, where you, once you tell this is the direction we need to go in, that's what the night will do. The page has a little bit more of um, wonder. The page has some enthusiasm as in what are we going to do? Where are we going to go? The page believes that anything is possible. The page can also be a messenger. So there could be a messenger about money, a messenger about jobs. It could be a messenger about career. Um, but again, this is a page, page, earth, earth. Pentacles is earth energy also. So this could be a new job, new career, new way of money also. So there's something going on, possibly with the money situation. Whatever it is, you will hear about it. It will be very quick. And, um, you know, the page, though, does have hope. The page does have possibilities okay let's see what this last card is well this is lovely so this is fire energy this is the four of rods or wands and the four is about stability leadership organization rods again wands is again that fire energy that we were talking about there's a lot of possibilities there's a lot of weddings there's a lot of um just really upbeat type of energy with the four of rods so this is you know celebration so something something very quick and i know we may not necessarily feel like we want to celebrate too much let's see if how about up here maybe this will work we may not feel like we want to celebrate but something happens very quickly again something with our money job career it is very um like possibles there's all these possibilities very uh positive um energy there is always more. There's always this really, um, you know, let's get out there and really um, be ju very jubilant energy with this. Okay, so let's see what we've got here now with the um, Colette Baron Reed. Let's see what we've got here going on. Oh, and let's see, go on. 
higher power? What do you want to tell? What's going on with the with the world per se? What's going on in with the world? Here we go. We will just take one. The page of air. So page again has that underlying energy of earth. Air energy is sword energy. We've talked also about our uh, fire energy. The only thing we've not talked about is our cup energy, water energy, which is not in any of these cards. And that is our Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. And it's very fluid and emotional. So we have the page of air here. Again, money, job, career. However, the air energy means that we need to think things through. We need to make some plans. So again, this is whatever this is all about, it does bring its own challenges, but these are not challenges that we cannot overcome. So the page of air, it has like all of these ideas, all of these possibilities. Again, air, thinking things through, making some plans. It could also be hearing a message. We might be hearing something about this page of pentacles. We might be hearing something about our money situation. Whatever it is, it could be very quick. It's something not to worry about even though maybe we will worry about it a little bit because, you know, anything to do with money job is always a little bit on that worrisome side. So let's see. Let's see what happens this weekend. Let's see where we're going with any of this. Okay, take that moment, please, to go down and like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. Um, it really helps. I mean, it's amazing when you guys do this. So thank you so much. And why don't we just get started with our readings and hello my Pisces and how are you Neptune is going direct it's still kind of in that slow-mo type of thing but it is still it is starting to move I think Neptune um, I was I was trying to figure this out I think Neptune it will be in Pisces for another maybe two maybe 2026 2025 or 2026 there seems to be a lot of um, movement in 2025 2026 so we will see what we will see okay i had four cards fall out so we will put these all out here for you and we will see oh and there's another one there's a five card we have five cards that have fallen out and the first two are not reversed <laughs> but the the last whatever our last three are so Let's see what we've got going on for my Pisces. Higher power. What do we have for our Pisces? Moving on. Moving into a new space. Moving into a new place. Moving into something that has better energy for you. So we have the six. Six is the number of man. It's the energy you've made for yourself. Air energy is our sword energy. It is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is a pushing forward, you know, I kind of get this feeling, you know, whenever you're taking a boat out and you have to push off from the pier, I get this feeling like pushing off. You're making a decision to make some changes. You're making a decision, maybe even, you know, this might be a time that, you know, because you're going to be, your season comes in 2023, maybe you're getting it into a, a healthier frame. And again, I'm not, you know, I, I just feel like you're making some new decisions. It's almost like you're ready for your, um, for your New Year's resolution or whatever the new year is for you, Okay. I feel like you're pushing off, you're getting steam, you're moving into something really good, and you are just wanting more positive energy all around you. So, so this is the weekend. This is the weekend. It's like you're making some decisions for yourself to make some changes in your life. Things are looking up. The end of a difficult situation. Taking a trip. So it could be decisions like, oh, I'm going to eat better. I'm going to exercise. I'm going to get a better job. I'm going to sell my my junk in my storage, I'm going to, um, well not junk of course, my treasures in my storage, I'm going to make some changes, I'm making some changes, I want to live, I want a happier life, I want better things to come, and if I raise my vibrations, you know, more, I mean more will come back to me, okay, so let's see what we've got here, the six of water, so we've got a six thing going on, we have water energy. That is your energy. It is also um, Cancer and Scorpio. It is fluid. It is flow. It is spiritual energy. 
it is very emotional energy too. This is looking back. So like I said, maybe with the storage, maybe as you're getting rid of things, you're kind of going through it and you're saying, oh, remember, remember, you're having some memories of the past. How to, and also too, the six of water, like I said, nostalgic energy. It's looking at your children. It's kind of um, like feeling the passage of time even. But it's kind, it's as you're feeling the passage of time, you're also saying there's more to come. Okay, I'm getting this is a real, um, it's a really inspiring type of energy I'm picking up. Memories from your history or childhood, issues regarding children, romanticizing the past, thinking back on things in a in a happier time. Reversed. Ten of Earth. Ten of Earth. So we have a six six one zero. Ten is transitional energy. It is moving forward. The one out of the ten is a new beginning. Zero is God source energy. Earth is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Remember, Mercury and Venus are now in Capricorn. So there is a reality. There is a substance with this. Okay. There is. It's bring it on home. Communication comes about home. Um, communication comes about your work. The relationships of Venus is about, you know, let's make some things real. The Ten of Earth is a happy home, is a blessings, but it's the tangible blessings. Now, the Ten of Water is a wonderful one, too. We don't have that as we know right now, but the Ten of Earth brings it real. The Ten of Earth makes it real. So, the, like I said, there's it's this weekend seems very inspiring. This weekend seems like it's it's bringing it home, and there's thoughts. Like I said, you're thinking of ways for more. You're thinking of ways to be inspired. You're letting go, you know, this while it's, while it is still looking into that past, you're kind of looking and seeing your how far you've come. And the 10 of earth is also a validation of that. A very happy family life, financial security, finding magic in the little things in life. Your next card again reversed. The sun, so we have a 19. Again, you know, we know what the one in the 10 is. Uh, nine is, uh, let's wrap it up. You've got everything you need. Archangel Uriel brings light, brings spotlight, brings also some cleansing light here too. The sun, um, we're coming, you know, if you're, if you're following the path of the fool, you're coming to the end of this chapter. But the cha this is also part of the chapter that you're going, this is all good. We're having some good energy here. We're having some good possibilities so you're moving there is this transitional energy all through this moving into a better a better time and again sometimes I'll, i'm like well you know with what's going on in the world per se but it doesn't matter what's going on in the world well it does but you know what i'm trying to say we still need to live our life and this is a lot of what you've made of it um is again you know power of attraction power of attraction attitude of gratitude so happy outcome Brilliant new ideas that lead to success. Have confidence in yourself. So believe in yourself while this is transitioning. You've made a major difference. And you might have made some difference to some children, too. I don't know if you're a teacher, but you know what? You don't have to have the title of teacher to have made differences for children. Anyway, last card here, reversed. Ace of Fire. Like I told you, there's a transitional energy. We have that one again, one new beginning, Fire Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now remember too, Jupiter in Pisces, okay? It will transition back into Aries. So this is where you take, make sure you're you're thinking about those ideas, thinking about that transition, because this is, again, it's like you're really thinking about your next step. It's almost like you're doing New Year's resolutions. It's almost like you're saying, okay, you know, I'm okay where I'm at right now, but I'm not staying here. You're not staying here. It's like, I'm good, but now I want more. I want more. And then the Ace of Fire comes to tell you, you know, that you'll get more. An exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So you got a lot of one energy here. You got a lot of six energy, but you have the 10, 19. And remember, one plus nine is a 10 also. So you've got a lot of one energy here for you, should you choose. Should you choose my Pisces here. So let's see. Higher power, what else do you want to add to this? So there's, but it's it's a lot of this is in your making. A lot of this is in your control. You can make these changes. 
again that six of air i keep getting like oh i'm going to start i'm going to start exercising or i'm going to eat better or i'm going to go to school or it's something to better your life you're going to make you're going to control there's more control of your future there is a connection with your higher power here there is a connection but it's almost like it's almost like they're giving you the fool energy you know that new beginnings energy here we go and who is a higher power so let's see what we've got going here for my pisces put that down there ah well here we go with the three this is a three of earth energy this is our capricorn taurus and virgo three is um celebration creativity the power of three recognition and reward there's something like i said there's a whole attitude of gratitude here but it's in your hands you're making the changes so maybe even maybe you're going up for a re, uh, an award you have to remember to thank the people that uh that helped you through remember what they say when you're climbing the ladder of success be nice to the people that you meet because you meet them on the way down too so you know there there's a sense that you know this is there's a climb here there's a climb there's a positive energy there is um, an ascension energy for you my pisces so let's see what we've got going on here angels of abundance what do you have for my lovely pisces what do you have for my pisces angels of abundance here we go here we go sever vows of poverty this is so very important i started doing this myself based upon this card dear one there's no need to suffer or sacrifice hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime as you do so all effects of those vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time and time you know there's i mean you know if you, if you just watch some of the um marvel movies you know we their time is all is very very fluid we may see it as linear but it is very fluid so what i do is i basically you know i have said higher power god i am done with I am done with poverty. I am done with self-denial. I'm not going out there and buying many things or anything, but I am done. I am done. I sever these ties. And I'll tell you, lots of good stuff has been happening. So let's see. You know, not necessarily, not necessarily the way I thought it would be. Card has fallen. Ah, uh, it is telling you to breathe. To breathe. Not necessarily the way I thought it was, but it just it just seems like the like if I, it just seems like things are changing. Anyway, communication, imagination, independent, witty. Breathe. Breathe through it all. Breathe through it all. But this is, this is big. This is a big one. Anyway, sever bows of poverty. You know, and, and those are little things like you say, oh, you know, it's almost like when you're giving pieces of yourself away. I gave that person my heart. You need to call it back. Oh, I was meant to suffer. No, no, no. You have to sever that. Okay? Anyway, my Pisces, it's an interesting weekend. The energy is for you. Just hold on and just keep, keep saying I, more wonderful things are about to happen. Okay, my Pisces, take that time to like, share, subscribe, and click on the bell for notifications. As always, my Pisces, always know that you are loved, stay shining, and be blessed. Bye-bye.